unbelievably changeable, very, very significant, as you see just now. What makes it really significant is the fact that all the, what you see, all the words, appear in one book, Leviticus, Gimal is the third book, Gimal, and appears from chapter 5 till 13. Yeah, eight chapters. And just now we see what appears here. So it appears here a sentence, Ketz Amalek, the end of Amalek. <coughs> Who is Amalek? All those who want to wipe out Israel, spiritually, physically, physically Iran, definitely. <coughs> spiritually is Arab, what we have today in Israel, the leftist, Lieberman, and uh, Lapid, all those against the Torah, against the Sabbath, they are called Arab or mixed multitude, Jewish people, but against the Torah, against God. So, Iran is really the physical, and we want to wipe out Israel physically. <coughs> and Arab or mixed multitude want to wipe out Israel spiritually. All this we have today. So what we have here, hoping it will happen, Kiyakes in black, Hamalek, by the way, this is a minimal in the Old Torah. In the Old Torah, we have few times the <laughs> <of> Hamalek, <coughs> but the minimal is here. Minimal skip is Iran also. And <laughs> best met meeting for Kes Amalek, the end of Hamalek with Iran comes here. <laughs> best meeting in the Torah. <laughs> which is according to Dr. Rottenberg, whose program we are using. This is really basically his program that we are using. <laughs> and this is what we have here. Now what we have more? So let us see. You have terror by the way. So, Emelekat, one of those who are really against Israel, Cause troubles to Israel, anti Semites, and so on. So you have <laughs> the famous one, Hamani. Hamani is here basically the Haman of today, clearly says he wants to wipe out Israel to eradicate them. No, <laughs> it's exactly the Haman of today. In my book, What's in the Name? I mentioned that names of leaders, <laughs> of people. It's not coincidence, there are important teaching behind Haman, according to Rabbi Isaac Luria, is a letters, Mem Nun, famous, which calls very harsh judgment. <coughs> so, <laughs> exactly this is what you have here. Amanai, Amani. And then you have here, as we mentioned, Erevra. Yeah? Very small skip. I think it might be the smallest in Leviticus. Yeah. Then you have parallel Adam. Adam is definitely Russia, America. That's why I can see Israel. Adam. Adam is the last exile that we are in. Amazing. So, what all these situations supposed to be? By the way, you have here. Best meeting of the Torah of this year, 5783-2023, unbelievable, comes here, 8 of Shinfei Gimel, with Russia, Russia, Amanai, Iran, Terror. Then you have here what should be under, and, I mean, as we mentioned, the Talmud said in Sanhedrin, if Jewish people don't repent, then God brings upon them a very cruel leader, like Haman in his time. Haman today, he will decree such terrible decrees over Israel, and Israel will have to repent. Repentance is even for their repentance. Unbelievable. So this is a situation to They're hoping that it will happen. Yeah. Ototo, Iran, Ototo, 
they will be under thousands missiles. Uh, so definitely a very severe situation. No doubt will bring you to repentance, like it was the sixth the war, the same thing. You know that under Egyptian planes were ready to explode Israel after he was already done into cemetery. So definitely a very severe situation. So what you should do repentance, Shashuva. Comes here the word Teshuvah, and you can see the Rabbi is there, yeah. Yeah, oh, the, hey, you can see the Rabbi is there, it's Teshuvah. Unbelievable. And we will have Messiah, we will have Messiah, Messiah, you can see it clearly because it's tough. But it's unbelievable, and Messiah will come with Elijah, yeah, with twice Elijah, we are Elijah. So I think <laughs> such a table, when you have minimum, the end of the Amalekites, when you have Minimal Iran. <laughs> Look, Iran in red. Minimal skip in Leviticus. When you have parallel of Russia, Edom, Amanahi. So, I think in the year, it's option for Gimel. This year, not so simple to find because they are not usual letters. So, what we should do? There's one. <laughs> thing to do, Teshuvah, to repent, to keep the Shabbat, the Torah, and only then, with that repentance, with the Ashuvah, we'll have Messiah, Elijah. So, as I think, it is outstanding, unbelievable, and very significant table, having, as I mentioned, <laughs> in few chapters, in Leviticus, all those related words. So, as I said, very important. And I hope that people still <laughs> will relate to Bible code properly. But no. Even though <laughs> it's under the door, Binubachi found with this program <laughs> the, on the second, the birth of the moon. <laughs> And many, many other very significant tables, pintas and so on. So because this is what is written, it's written the Torah, God created the world with the Torah. Yeah, the Torah was a blueprint of creation. It was a program with which God created the world. You see, it is always, I say always, it's like a program that one, that pilot put in his plane before going, yeah. But when there are winds and so on, you have to change it externally with the Torah. If you, just and gentle peer properly according to the Torah, life works smooth and nicely. If not, you see what we have. It's interesting and important table for our time.